Hey boys, um, I've been out buying a few old games today. You know I like to play old games. They're not they're not free, but they are old, so they are not free, but next to free. And um, one of the games that I enjoyed very much playing during my youth was the Championship Manager uh, Football Managing Series. And uh, look what I found. Championship Manager Season 2000-2001. Um, this is a Danish version as I'm Danish, but I paid five Danish krona for it. That's less than a dollar, and I know that you're able to find it in... Um, in um, thrift shops all over the US also or in England or in Germany or wherever you are for almost no money it's less than a euro it's less than a dollar it's five Danish krona it's championship manager zero 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 one I think there are 26 playable leaks this is tons of entertainment and why did I buy this first of all these are going up they are getting pricier and pricier um, next I find it funny to play with all those players of ancient times. It's uh, 16 years ago now. Um, most of the players in this game have retired by now. But it's fun and it's tons of entertainment. I used to play this exact version yeah, 15 years ago. I played it for maybe four or 500 hours. There's still plenty of hours left in this one. So, another game I bought, which is getting very cheap these days, the number 2 came a couple of years ago, Dragon Age Origins, um, also for PC, um, also 5 Danish Krona, that's less than a dollar, you can buy it on eBay, you can buy it everywhere. It's a very good game, the graphics are um, quite okay, um, considering that the game was released in 2009, that's... A game that we're going to look at actually in a future video. It's not quite free, but it's almost free. It's less than a dollar. Just a second. Um, I found a few more games. Uh, I'm quite into football, the European kind, soccer, and I found this one. 442 um, Touchline Passion is the subtitle. Um, manage your team your way. It's time to become a football managing legend. And um, you're actually able to, I think, if I remember right, um, build your stadium, improve your stadium, and negotiate sponsorship deals, buy, sell players, set up your tactics with uh, real-life football player names in it. More than 600 clubs from nine countries and 21 leagues from across Europe. This was released in 2002, so we are talking like the Championship Manager game uh, 14, 15 years ago. This was 10 Danish krona, but it was half price in this um, in this shop. So it's 5 Danish krona, and we are again under a dollar. Tons of entertainment. And as far as football, sports games go, if they're using real life names, um, they will be outdated at some point because those guys stop playing. But this will never be outdated. This is a tycoon collection with... Sea Life Park Tycoon, Restaurant Tycoon, and Wildlife Tycoon. I've never played Restaurant Tycoon or Wildlife Tycoon. I think maybe Restaurant Tycoon, I hope it's a little like Pizza Tycoon. We're going to have a look at that in a future video. And I think I bought a couple of games more. Let's see. Um, I like strategy games, and um, I used to play this uh, Anno 1404 series. This is the Venice. Um, the Venice add-on. You need the original game to play this. Uh, and a good thing is that I found the original game too. Just a second. Whoop. It's right here, Anno 1404 and the Anno 1404 Venice. Um, embark upon an unforgettable journey to the Orient, starting in the Occidental world. Over 200 authentic buildings, 24 types of resources, and 64 different goods are waiting to be discovered. This is a good strategy game. It came out in 2009 and uh, was perhaps at the time the best strategy game uh, at the time. And the graphics are okay, we will have a look at that in a future video too. 
Uh, this is one of the games that I expect to spend a lot of hours playing um, in the next weeks. Also, those were 10 Danish kroner combined, that's a uh, dollar and a half, I think. Pirates, um, 5 Danish kroner, less than a dollar. You can actually sell this on eBay, sometimes up to uh, 8 or 10 dollars, but you can also buy it on eBay, sometimes cheap for less than a dollar. Depends on how lucky you are buying or selling. Um, we all know pirates, I used to play it on my Amiga. Um, but yeah, um, the game seems a little outdated from 2004. It was before the uh, graphics came on par. Uh, by that I mean that since 2009, 10, not much has uh, this, well, a lot of a lot has happened um, when it comes to graphics. But those games from back then, 9, 10, still looks good. It's still 3D. It's still worth playing. This is maybe a little too old, but not old enough to be retro cool. So I'm gonna give it a go sometime. Um, not right now. I would rather spend my time playing Anno 1404 and the Championship Manager and hopefully Restaurant Tycoon will eat up my time too. That's what I hope at least. But at some point, Sid Meier's Pirates is going into my disk drive and we're going to have a look at it. Serious Sam, remember Serious Sam? Uh, I think the version I have on my Steam account is uh, Serious Sam 3. This is the first encounter. Here's Sam and he was a serious guy. I remember when this game came out, uh, when was it? Yeah, 2001. The graphics sucks. Um, it's almost as bad as the first versions of Doom that came out in the mid-90s. But um, it was great gameplay and I remember that I enjoyed playing this game almost as much as I enjoyed playing Doom and Quake. And um, I'd like to see if I can get into the action and maybe relive some of my youth memories with me and Sam. Yeah, serious Sam, we're going definitely going to have a look at that in a future video. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now, guys. I've been shopping. I've spent 5, 10, 15, 20. I think there were games worth 50 Danish kroner all in all. And the, the good guy in the shop, where they just had them um, coming in, told me I could get all of them for 30 Danish kroner. That's less than $6. It's $5, I think. Um, and there will be... Tons of entertainment here, hours of entertainment, and hours of YouTube videos for you to watch in the future. See you later, guys.